Nope, you're looking for Waldo, but you don't know where to look first. Well, for starters, he's not in France and he's not in Italy. I'd check Bulgaria if I was you. Hey guys, we're Methods by Kai. I'm Kai and back once again taking a look at how to create this cool looking shader. This, you know, uh tune shader i guess as it were anime shader whatever you want to call it we've done this in the past but today uh, i want to add to it so what we're going to be doing is i wanted to make sure that depending on the type of lamp you use the time the kind of light you use i want it to reflect those colors so let's go let's go ahead and get started and i'll show you what i mean in a second here so this is literally only four nodes it's super super simple stuff um so you have this uh nice object whatever the object you're using and we have a diffuse uh shader which is just shift a in search or you can go up here to add and then you know search for it up here but hit shift a and search for a diffuse diffuse right there boom then you can go ahead and hit shift a and search for a shader to rgb right there shift a once again um search color ramp color ramp shift a and finally hue saturation so hue saturation value shift a there you go. And then we're going to hook, hook all these up. These The diffuse goes into the shader of the uh, shader RGB. The color goes into the color ramp. And the color of the color ramp goes into the value of the hue saturation value. Not the hue, not the saturation, not the factor, not the color. It goes into the value. Nice. So once you have all that done, you're where I am right now. Now, with the color ramp, what I've done here is you can see if I was to go back to this original color ramp, the default one. You see this has a nice little gradient from black to white, but up here I have little four little points and they're all really hard edges. So what I did was I changed this from linear to constant and then I pulled this this bad boy back to about right here and then hit this little button in the in the middle. Um, I clicked this little black the black one and then hit uh, this little button twice, added two little points right there. Space these about even some somewhere around there and then I just changed these colors. So I made this one like a darker bluish gray kind of desaturated color like uh like this and then i made this one a lighter uh, grayish color just for some like shadows highlights and whatnot and that's essentially what i did to get this colors up here the exact colors are 212624 that hex and then the lighter gray color is 636d7a there you go um and this is just black i do believe and this is just white so there you go um nice with that done next thing we need to do is you'll have something like this which looks really cool um which looks really really super cool just this is a regular icosphere by the way so shift a mesh icosphere and then i do believe i bumped up the subdivision to like four or something like four like that and then i went ahead and went to the modifiers tab and then i added in a subdivision surface and a displace which is add modifier subdivision surface right there i bumped that up to two on both of these viewport and render and then on the displacement, I added a modifier of displace right here. Boom, displace. And then I went ahead and just hit new texture here. Went to the texture tab. Changed this from none to clouds. And then I went back and then just changed the strength to 0.1. So that was something like a rock. You know, something quite that. Um, but that, that has nothing to do with the shader. I just wanted to explain just in case you didn't know how I got this cool looking uh, shape here. So that's that really quickly. Um, so. The last and final step we need to do is probably the most important one because it doesn't show us the color. So over if you look over here, I have two different lamps and both of these lamps are shining down. So this one is shining straight down and this color is a solid white color. But this lamp, this lamp is shining straight up. Well, not straight up, but up and on diagonally. Um, but it's purple. But when you look at the lamp, it looks white. So you can see I move it around and the shader, the, the, the tune shader, the anime shader works perfectly. You know, it looks you know, toony, it looks, you know, hard edged, it looks, you know, like cool and stuff, but it's not purple, it's white, so why is it white? The reason it's white is because of this, oh, by the way, I turned the shadows off of both of these, they're on some local strange, like this, so make sure if you're using those, these lamps, make sure you turn shadow off, or else you'll get some really weird, like, shading like that, unless you like that, that looks kind of good, depending on what style you're going for, so you could definitely leave that if you want, it gives a nice little bit of texture, um, and actually, I might leave mine on too, that's kind of good, not, not even gonna lie, but, um, I will turn it off just for right now because I do like the really, you know, plain, you know, just cell shaded like that. But what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab this color from uh, shader to RGB and I'm going to plug this into the color of the hue saturation value and boom, instantly you can see that this purple shows up now, which is exactly what you want. And just to clean this up a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and hold down shift and then right click and drag over top of um, this, lamp, this line and then hit G to move this little point down and do it one more time. Hit hold shift hold right click and drag downwards across it and then just hit g to move it down now you want these to be even and lined up 
drag a box over top of both these little points, then hit S, Y, and then hit zero on your numpad and left click to confirm that. It'll straighten those both right up and you can just leave them like that. So that's essentially what we did. We just plugged the color into the color um, of the hue saturation, the color of the uh, shaded RGB into the color of the hue saturation of value. And that is how you get the purple. And this is what we did not cover before in a previous tutorial many moons ago. Hope you ladies and gentlemen learned something new today. You can go ahead and change this color to whatever color you want. It looks absolutely awesome. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really, really good anime tune shader. Hope you guys enjoyed as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you here today. Um, let me know when you, what you want to see down in the comments below, as always. Um, I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.